Hello, and welcome to Zimbal. During this demo, we'll be covering the time tracking module. To access the time clock page, hover over the clock icon found on the main navigation menu on the left side of the account, then select time clock. When you first land on this page, you'll be able to clock in if you haven't already done so via the dashboard page. Once you're clocked in, you'll be presented with the exact time you clocked in, how long you've worked for, and the ability to write and save a shift report. You can also start or end any activity created within the account. For example, a break. If you or a team member forgot to clock in, clock out, or you simply need to edit or manually add a timesheet page entry, you can do so by clicking the plus add clock time button. Adding clock time is as easy as choosing a team member, selecting the clock in date, the clock in time, the clock out time, and the position. If a team member is still clocked in, you can enable the don't set clock out time option. If this option is enabled, the team member in question will be expected to clock out at the end of their shift. Optionally, you can add any notes, activities, or a pay code before clicking the save button. To access the timesheet page, Hover over the clock icon found on the main navigation menu, then click the timesheets button. Alternately, when on the time clock page, you can click the timesheets drop down menu and click the timesheet button. The timesheets page is where you can review, edit, create, delete, and approve time clock entries. The entries can be individually selected or selected all at once by clicking the checkboxes on the left side of the page. Selected entries can be mass edited by clicking the edit button. The options that can be mass edited are pay code, approval status, position, department, and location. The approved slash pending hours data states that there are 5.50 pending hours. We'll select those entries now and utilize the mass approve button. You'll now notice that the pending hours have shifted to the approved hours. The other entries are shifts that are still clocked into. If necessary, when editing timesheet page entries, you can manually clock out a team member by clicking the clock out button. You can filter the timesheet page by date range, as well as select a specific employee, department, and location. You can hide approved hours and only show your direct reports. Direct reports are based on the supervisor status. Once clock time exceeds a questionable amount, the total time column will display a specific color and warning icon. Entries that are 12 hours or longer will be indicated by an orange color. Entries that are 24 hours or longer will be indicated by a red color. Entries that exceed 24 hours cannot be approved, so they'll need to be edited. 
To edit a shift, simply click the pencil icon found on the far right side of the entry in question. When inline editing, you can change the position and department, the date, clock in time, clock out time, add or edit any activities, change the pay code, and add or edit any notes. Clicking the Advanced button will open up the Edit Clock Time page, which is similar to the Plus Add Clock Time page. You can always edit entries in Advanced Mode by enabling the Always Open in Advanced Mode option. Once the shift has been edited, click the Save button, then the Approve button. You can now approve any pending entries. An alternate way of doing this will be to click the three vertical dots in the upper right hand corner. Then click approve all. From this menu you are also able to export the entries to a PDF file, CSV file, or Excel file. You can also print the page. You can delete any unneeded entries by clicking the trash can icon. If a user clocked in or out using the mobile phone application, you'll notice a GPS pin to the left of the clock in or clock out time. Clicking the GPS pin will open a separate page displaying the location of the user at the time of clocking in or clocking out. The My Timesheet page can be accessed from the main navigation menu or from the Timesheets drop down menu via the Time Clock page. The My Timesheet page is very similar to the Timesheets page, but will only display your own personal timesheet entries. The entries on this page can be edited but only if the proper permissions have been set within the settings. This brings the time tracking demo to a close. To register for a free 14 day trial, visit app.zimble.com forward slash register. Visit support.zimble.com for several helpful articles, guides, video tutorials, and more. To contact support directly, send an email to support at zimble.com. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening.